What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player Harry Kane to review and it's a card that has been upgraded a really nice amount. He now has got 88 pace with 88 dribbling, 94 shooting, 87 passing with the 86 physicals as well. But the one thing I am definitely, definitely disappointed with is the three star skill moves. They couldn't give him like a four star skill move upgrade yet. You couldn't do that, no. You give this card four star star skill moves and saying that he's got that five star five star week for already it would have been incredible it's just three star skill moves is a bit meh to work with right but he has got high high work rates and he is a six foot two player now this ain't a cheap sbc okay he's currently going for around 430k do i believe that's the end price let's say i don't because right now saying that the team of the year attackers just came out he put opening packs the market is going literally crazy let's say so i doubt he's going for 430k at the end of this review but we'll see. I'm hoping he's more around like the 300k mark. Either way, if we are looking at the squads that you have to give up, it's an 88 rated team, an 86 rated team, an 84 rated team, and an 83 rated team. And every single one, apart from the 88, requires an inform. Now the chemistry, chemistry, sorry, chem style, engine chem style is what I've decided to go for. The reason I've gone for the engine, and I understand the acceleration, it obviously isn't the greatest, right? It's just you're looking at the dribbling stats really with this card, right? You know Harry Kane isn't one of those players in this game that is just like extremely agile on the ball. So giving him that engine chem style, saying how they have boosted up his uh, dribbling stats as well, it's like I would say perfect for the dribbling, right? You're giving this guy 90 agility, 93 balance, 97 reactions, 90 ball control, 97 dribbling with a 96 composure. Even though he's a six foot two player, I'm expecting him to feel really, really nice on the ball, especially with those kind of dribbling stats to his game. The only thing that is a bit disappointing, let's say, with the engine chem style that you do get with like the hunter chem style is uh, that plus 10 acceleration. You're only getting a plus five with the engine, which means he only will have 87 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. Now I say only 87 acceleration, like it's low. It isn't low. It's just, I know for a fact, people in this game, they love really, really fast strikers. And with how Harry Kane has 87 acceleration, I don't think it's going to be anything top tier, but I still think it's going to be very good. Now, the shooting ability, keep in mind, we haven't even touched it with a chem style. 97 attacking positioning, 97 finishing with 94 shot power, 89 long shots, 91 volleys with a 94 penalties as well. Keep in mind, five star weak foot with the outside foot shot trait. I'm expecting this guy's shooting ability to be top, top tier. And then you look at his passing ability and you're like, okay, all right, Harry Kane. So you're one of those players that can swing up all the way to the other side with both feet, with that five-star weak foot. He's got 96 vision with 94 crossing, 94 short passing, 95 long passing with a 97 curve as well. And then you go ahead and look at the physicals. Unfortunately though, he does not ha have the power header trait, but hey, it is what it is. He still has got 93 heading accuracy with nice jumping, 82. He's got 86 stamina, 88 strength with the 83 aggression as well. Now, if we are talking about links with Harry Kane, it ain't too bad. You get a link with obviously Son, a strong link with Son. You also get a strong link with uh, Rule Breakers, Phil Foden. You get some very, very nice links saying that he is obviously English and that he is in the Premier League. It's just for me, I've just gone for Makaleli and N'Golo Kante to get him on a full camp. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing this guy in two positions. The striker position, 100%. Obviously, it's his main position. So, we're going to see how he performs there. But I'm also going to be playing Harry Kane in a cam position. Because I want to see how he plays in that cam position. Especially with those kind of passing stats. So, let's get into the games. Just going to give that down to Mbappe. There you go. Pass across here. Go for a ball roll. Kind of want to see how he feels on the ball. Just to see if he's got those little touches to his game. And as you clearly can see, he definitely has. What was that dribbling right there? It was a nice shot as well, but I did definitely rush it. I could have just ran forward. I'm just going to pass it through the gap. Perfect. Nice little turns as well. Good fake shot. Can I get the power shot to go in? LaFont. That was even green timed as well. And it's a perfect save from LaFont. But let's see if we can score the goal off the corner. Come on, man. Come on, Harry Kane. You're six foot two and you end up losing the header to Vinny. Just going to fake shot that. There you go, Pulisic. Kane, are you making that run? You are making that run. Let me see if I can actually use his pace to get around Marquinhos. And he hasn't really got that acceleration to get around Marquinhos there, which is very disappointing. And for a second, he was doing pretty well with his strength. It's just Marquinhos being Marquinhos, you know, and just getting around him and getting the ball. Driven past that. There you go. Maybe a quick one too. See if I can just get him in behind. There you go. That's perfect. I might actually go for an early finesse shot. Let's see how this turns out. 
Hmm. A green time as well. I thought that definitely would have helped it, but clearly, clearly not. Scoop turn that. Kane, are you going to make that run? He does realize that, which is really good. He stays on side as well. Nice shielding. Good fake shot. Can we get the finish? Yes, we can. Unreal fake shot. Genuinely unreal. Took two defenders completely out the game. And it gives us a guaranteed goal. And this guy's quit the game. Throw the gap there. That's perfect. And again, fake out a little bit. Go for that fake shot. See if I can just accelerate. And I'm going to go for the finesse shot. And Mbappe gets in the way. Are you sick? Are you serious? I might just cut back here, see if I can give that to Pulisic. There you go. Pass it to Kane. Go for the fake shot. No, right there is where a standing scoop turn literally would be perfect because it doesn't go too close to the defender there and it still allows me to like get the angle to go for the shot. It's just him not having obviously the four-star skill moves. He can't do a scoop turn. I might just play him down the line. There you go. Good touch. See if I can just go for a few dribbles here. Well played. We'll roll that. There is definitely certain touches that you can tell it isn't like the greatest. Like he takes a little bit too big of a touch, let's say. But in most areas when he's under pressure, let's say, I can clearly see like those tight touches at those tight angles are really, really nice on him. Good touch, Mbappe. Just pass that down to Harry Kane. Nice total touch as well. Good use of strength, which is something I do like about him. The fact that if I'm under pressure exactly like that, I can calm myself down, just hold L trigger, and it allows me to go ahead and make my decision. Can we get a finish here? Yeah, we can. I kind of want to give this ball all the way over to Ziyech, but Ziyech isn't really making a run, but we're going to go for it. And look how perfect of a pass that actually is. Is he going to give me an option on the edge? He is. Take a touch forward. Go for it. Okay. Okay, Harry Kane. On the edge of the box like that as well, I thought, especially it being done a Romain goal, I thought he was going to save it, but it flies in. Come on, Ziyech. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm just going to fake shot this. Kind to the inside. Give it down to Mbappe. Give it down to Kane. Good touch and turn. You know what? We'll go for it again. Got one. Okay, yeah, the shooting ability, yeah, you can tell it's there. I didn't even do much of him there. I just took that touch, went for a 180 turn, got myself into a nice angle, green timed, and it flew top bins. Kind of want to test how he's heading ability. Let's see if he's actually going to win this. Against Marquinhos as well? Nah, Marquinhos actually ends up winning it. The thing is about him, even though he is obviously a tall player, the jumping ability isn't great. So, I know for a fact he isn't going to be like a consistent header, let's say. He isn't going to be a person that wins it every single time. That's how I was meant to word it. And let's see what we can do here. Just keep it going. You know what? Why not? He scored so many angles, so I might as well give it a go. Can we get lucky? Okay. Ziyech is two-star weak foot. <laughs> I'm actually going to call him short here because I want to see if I can just go for a fake shot. That is not the greatest of fake shots, but that is good strength. That is a good shot as well, but Donnarumma ends up saving this one. Give it quickly. No. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought for a second he actually wasn't going to get there. That's decent. We'll roll that as well. No, I couldn't go for that ball roll to a touch to an instant turn. That would have been incredible if he got that off because we would have had a really nice opportunity. I might just pass it down to Ziyech. We'll roll that. Give it to Harry Kane because he actually came over. Nice little turn. Keep it going. Ball roll. You see right there? That is a perfect example of the quick acceleration not coming into play. If he had higher acceleration there, I'm telling you guys, we would have had like a really nice pace boost and we was most likely going to be in there. We'll roll that. Can I get the driven pass off? I can. That's a good touch as well. I do want to see if I can. Oh, wow. Okay. What I actually did there was I was seeing if I wanted to get the pass off, but there was not really an option. So I went for a shot cancel. Marquinhos got himself into an automatic animation. And uh, yeah, we kind of had like a good opportunity with that five-star weak foot. Come on, Harry Kane, though. Nah, I even read time it as well, but he didn't win the header. That's a good run down. Hold off Kempembe. Wait for him to come towards you. Go for a fake shot. Oh, wow. Can I get the outside? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I mean, it was a fake shot straight under the legs, which is something I didn't actually expect. But the fact that he used his outside foot shot trait there as well to get the goal was beautiful. I'm just going to turn out here. That's nice. Good shielding. Good chop as well. Nice pace. N ref. No. No way. You're telling me Marquinhos' slide tackle was that perfect. That's the definition, by the way, of a panic slide tackle. He had no idea he was going to get that ball. Just pass it up. Maybe I can go for a quick one, two, get him in behind. Should we hit it first time to test it out? Nah, come on, man. It was actually nice pace from him to get in behind like really, really quickly. It's just the shot game block there is very disappointing. And I tried to keep giving the finesse shot a go, but it's just not going in. It feels like the keeper is catching it every single time. Pass it. No, oh my God. That nearly got intercepted. Ball roll. Go for it. Green timed as well. Come on. Come on. I was about to say, we need to score at least one of them today. 
Anyone going to make a run? I might just give it over to Kane. And that is not a great pass, but we're going to run onto it quite easily. Go for a few turns here. See what I could possibly do. Can I accelerate past him? I can. Should we go for it? This is a very tight angle. If that goes in, what, what a finish. Genuinely, what a finish. Inside the box, trusting in that five-star weak foot, which, you know, you should definitely do. And it goes flying top bins. I'm actually quite surprised with his movement in the cam position. I thought Harry Kane was going to be like that super aggressive kind of cam. But he really isn't. Like he loves to come short. He loves to give me a passing option. And when there's a gap wide open exactly like that, he will obviously go ahead and run into it. It's just I definitely thought he was going to be a way more aggressive cam. Kane, you going to make that movement? You are. Fake shot that. Perfect. Can I go for the power shot? Obviously, I can. What is this finishing? Genuinely, what is this finishing? Left foot, right foot, non-timed. It's flying in. Come on, Mbappe. It's like a 2v1 opportunity. I might have to manually switch the cane. Yeah, I am. Take it forward. Perfect. Take the... Yeah, man. This is what I mean. Like, every angle I'm shooting, it's flying into the back of the net. Like, I'm really trying to test out this guy's shooting ability. That right there, though, it's a guaranteed goal. There's no chance Kane misses that opportunity. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Harry Kane. We actually scored eight goals and we didn't get a single assist, which is kind of disappointing, especially with how good his passing ability actually is. But, you know, it is what it is. The one thing that really stood out on this card to me was the shooting ability. There was a lot of occasions I didn't need to time it. You knew it was going to fly into the back of the net, right? There were some occasions where, yeah, maybe it did let me down on like a long shot, but he's got 89 long shots. You know, it's not going to be a long shot that goes in every single time. There definitely will be certain occasions that he will miss out on the shot, let's say, or miss out on the goal, let's say. It's just, you keep going at it. You don't stop. And that's what I did. I missed out on, I think it was two or three shots when it came down to long shots. But then on the fourth attempt, it flew into the back of the net. Literally, it was a perfect perfect shot at a decent angle it wasn't even an amazing angle for a finesse shot but yeah it flew in but yeah shooting inside the box gg let's just put it that way passing ability incredible pass to the left perfect pass to the right perfect dribbling ability better than what i expected it to be but still nothing like insane you know like harry kane is one of those cards that you want to just find him inside the box you go for a few turns and you give the shot a go you don't want to overdo it on like the edge of the box or anything like that if you can give it to him on the edge of the box and uh go for a few turns and go for a long shot go ahead and do it it's just if you try to take players 1v1 that's when it's gonna be a little bit awkward let's say because he isn't one of those players that can pull out like a lack of credit. he isn't one of those cards that can pull out like a migiri spin cancel an elastical or anything like that right so he can't get past players quite easily especially with the pace he has where he hasn't really got an acceleration boost he can't really do that so the way you want to use this harry kane with the engine chem style is give this guy the ball inside the box go for a few twists and turns and just smash the ball into the back of the net that's how you want to use him and if you want to use him with the hunter chem style obviously go ahead and do it what you could possibly do is give this guy the hunter chem style giving him 92 acceleration with 99 sprint speed and just lby him in behind and obviously he will be extremely extremely fast just know though he obviously won't have that drilling ability you guys saw today and the physicals as well was something i really did enjoy he wasn't one of those players that won the header every single time but i did like his strength a lot the fact that i could lean back onto someone hold them off allow me to decide what i want to do next is literally spot on now the card isn't cheap as i told you guys four hundred and thirty thousand coins it's he's a good card okay very good card but for a three star skiller I don't believe it's worth it. What you could possibly do is the fact that this uh, card is in the, in SBCs for a very long time. Grind them over time. Don't rush into it. Don't spend 430k onto this card just straight up. No. Oh, do them over time if you do not mind the skill moves in that strike position. If you like four star skill moves minimum, obviously you don't go ahead and uh, and do this card. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? The three star skill moves hurts him a lot. It definitely, definitely does. The fact that he hasn't got like an insane quick acceleration boost as well kind of hurts me as well. But the shooting ability is top tier. Where would he go? He goes straight into the A tier. I don't believe he has an A plus card, but an A tier, 100%. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.